Hey guys, Philly Boy J back with another recipe and I'm going to be showing you guys a recipe that has been frequently requested chicken and broccoli casserole or broccoli and chicken casserole um, the seasonings that I like to use are garlic powder black pepper whole oregano salt and a little bit of paprika just for color you're going to need some butter and you're going to need one large size egg you're going to need some boyu in a bag 10 minute success white rice and here I have some sharp cheddar cheese this is shredded sharp cheddar cheese you're going to need an onion a very small one we're going to dice this up Here I have some boneless chicken. I like to use cream of chicken by Campbell's and I use sour cream. So I use a combination of both cream of chicken and sour cream. And here I have two heads of fresh broccoli. I'm going to be using fresh broccoli, but you can use frozen broccoli if you want, all right? let's get started alright guys so here's our broccoli and on my broccoli and cheese recipe I used two heads of broccoli and I showed you how to cut it it's just going to cut as close to the top as possible and then it'll just break apart easily and you're just going to chop them into like florets of, bro of broccoli okay going to discard this part then you're just going to break them apart like this. Break them into broccoli pieces. Alright, so there goes our broccoli. Chop that broccoli up. And you want to dice your onion up into bully, bully, bully fine pieces alright guys so those are our onions and here's our chicken guys you're just going to rinse your chicken off and you're going to break it up once it's done it's just easier to break that way alright so chop it up once it's done cooking Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to get a pot of water, you're going to fill it up, and you're going to place it over high heat, and once your water comes to a boil you, you're going to add your bags of rice. I'm adding my rice to my boiling water, we're going to let this go for 10 minutes. And I'm only using one bag, but I might end up needing two. I don't know because I never made this with 10 minute rice before. I always make it with, you know, regular rice. Gonna let that go for 10 minutes. Okay guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a skillet and you're gonna place it over high heat. You're going to add some water and then you're going to, once it comes to a boil, you, you're going to add your broccoli and you're only going to cook the broccoli for a very small period of time. Now you could just add this to the baking pan and um cover it with aluminum for you for it to get tender. It don't take broccoli long, but I just like to do it this way, so just steam your broccoli for a few minutes. Only take about five to eight minutes. Probably not even that, to be honest. I'll probably say five minutes. 
Okay guys, so here's our broccoli. It took them exactly five minutes. Not very long at all. They're going to continue cooking as we're baking them so we don't want to over blanch them, I guess you can call this. Um, so we're going to cut the fire off. We're going to set them aside. Alright, so you're going to remove the water and the broccoli and then you're going to add your boneless chicken. Along with your onions, just want to cook these a bit. This is not going to take very long either. Alright guys, so what you're going to do now is you're going to get a mixing bowl. And to the mixing bowl, we're going to first add our sour cream. Okay. We're going to add our cream of chicken. We're going to add our one large size egg. And all of our seasonings. I combined them off camera. I'm gonna add that. All right, and we're going to just stir this in. Once your chicken done, you're just going to cut it up like this, okay? Just shred it up. Alright guys, so that's our nice tender chicken and it is tender and juicy. So to our sour cream mixture, we're going to add our broccoli. Okay. We're going to add our onions. We're going to add our chicken. We're going to add our rice. And we're going to add some of our cheese. And we're going to fold this all in. Everything is well blended. All right. All 
All right, guys. So make sure your oven is preheating. I'm gonna add all of this to the baking pan now. Um, already melted my butter, as you can see here. Visit my website, phillyjcooking.com for the exact instructions. The full recipe will be there. Um, a link to the full recipe can be found in my video description box below. Okay. And uh, yeah, my website will be the specific instructions. All the detailed instructions will be there for you, okay? Okay. I'm gonna add some more cheese. I'd say about a half a cup worth of cheese to top it. And we're going to add our paprika. Small amount. We're going to place this in the oven and I'll get back with you guys once it is all done. Alright guys, and look at that delicious shredded cheddar cheese broccoli chicken casserole ah this looks amazing and i'm about to dig in it looks absolutely delicious i want you to try this recipe like i said all the measurements and the full recipe can be found on www.phillyjcooking.com okay hope you guys enjoy it it's amazing peace Hey guys, it's PBJ, and for more of my delicious and easy to make recipes, visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest videos, and come join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.